Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray you through scripture verse by verse and stay tuned to the end of this episode. It's a World Wednesday and I uh, would so love for you to listen to prayer in another language because the body of Christ is bigger than just my little corner here in America. So if you'd like to be a part of that, if you speak another language, you can go to marydemuth.com and click the little icon on the upper right hand side that it has a little microphone. You can record up to five minutes of your prayer. Today we're prepping for the birth of Jesus by reading through Luke 1 and Luke 2. Right now we are in Luke 1 verses 67 all the way down to 80. And then we'll start chapter 2 tomorrow. This is in preparation to prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus. So um, let's read it in the Amplified Version and it says this. Now Zacharias, his father, was filled with the Holy Spirit and empowered by him and he prophesied saying, Blessed, praised, glorified be the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has visited us and brought redemption to his people. And he has raised up a horn of salvation, a mighty and valiant savior for us in the house of David, his servant. Just as he promised by the mouth of his holy prophets from the most ancient times, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy as he promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the promised blessing, the oath which he swore to Abraham our father to grant us that we, being rescued from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness being set apart, and righteousness being upright before him all our days. And you, child, will be called a prophet of the Most High. For you will go on before the Lord, the Messiah, to prepare his ways to give his people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Because of this tender mercy of God, with which the sunrise, the Messiah from on high, will dawn and visit us, to shine upon those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in a straight line into the way of peace and serenity. The child continued to grow and to become strong in spirit, and he lived in the deserts until the day of his public appearance to Israel as John the Baptist, the forerunner of the Messiah. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, we love you. We need you today. We need you as we um, get tangled up in the, in the concerns and the cares of this world. And thank you for this little bright spot of Zacharias' prophecy in the middle of a busy day. We want to bless, praise, and glorify you. You have visited us and you have brought redemption to us. Thank you so much for that. All of this was a part of your plan, this whole idea of having John prepare the way of the hearts of people for Jesus the Messiah. Lord, thank you for sending an ambassador ahead of time. And I know now that we are called your ambassadors and we are supposed to prepare the way for people's hearts. I understand that it's the Holy Spirit that draws people, Lord, but I know that we have a part to play as your body to represent you well, to show others your love. And so, Lord, I pray today that you would give us some opportunity to do just that. Lord, help us to be, as um, Zacharias has said, he said, in holiness being set apart and righteousness being upright before him all our days. Lord, I pray that for us today. We would learn what it means to be set apart for you. We would learn what it means to live an upright life. And Lord, we cannot do that in our own strength. So forgive us for trying. Instead, we ask for your forgiveness in all those wayward ways we went wrong yesterday. We ask for a clean slate today, being declared righteous because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We also pray that we would be rescued from the hand of our enemies, that we might serve you without fear, but with this holy um, and and, uh, completely consecrated heart to you. Lord, help us to give your people the knowledge of salvation. Help us to revel in the forgiveness of sins, not in a dismissive way like, oh, well, we've been forgiven so we can do anything we want, but in a um, contrite and grateful way, knowing that your grace has made a way for us to have right relationship with you. And may it never be, Lord, that we misuse your grace. Help us to live in light of your grace and with joy and anticipation of all the things that you're going to do today. Lord, thank you for your tender mercy 
It is new every morning. Your faithfulness is new every morning. Your greatness is new every morning. Your grace is new every morning. And I just want to be showered in it today. So I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day and stay tuned. You will hear a prayer for World Wednesday. Now, if there isn't one, that means that I don't have one. So um, that means I need some of you from around the world to record your prayer. Thanks so much and have a great day. Oh, by the way, we are in 55 countries as of the time of this recording. Isn't that amazing? May prayer go all over the world. And would you be praying for Pray Every Day that that would continue to go into new and exciting countries? Thanks. Hello, this is Paul Enoch Masawe from Tanzania, East Africa, and I'm currently in Tulsa, Oklahoma, studying at Oral Roberts University, and I'm a student in biomedical chemistry. So, yes, I was listening to your podcast of praying in the morning, and thank you so much for sharing with us Bible verses and sharing with me, actually, the Bible verses. And praying in the morning actually has been very helpful to me especially when I listen in the morning and pray together with you. Thank you so much for just allowing God to use you and you will be becoming a blessing and bring impact into my spiritual life. Thank you so much. And I'm going to pray in Swahili. Baba Mungu, Baba Mungu, asante kwa upendo wako, asante kwa kwa ulinzi, asante kwa mani unayotupa, 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 na kushukuru Mungu kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu wewe ni Mungu uwezayo mambo yote wewe ni Mungu uliumba dunia uliumba mbingu na nchi na vyote vikaavyo ndani yake viko uliviumba kwa mkono wako Mungu asante sana kwa upendo wako kwa sababu umefanya siku kwa viumbe vya pekee umefanya siku kwa kwa viumbe vya 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 uwezo pia Mungu umefanya siku kwa watu wa pekee katika ufalme wako ni tofauti sana na, na wanyama wengine kama kama tembo au simba umefanya siku tofauti kwa sababu umekupumzika mulia pumzi yako na na roho wako anaishi ndani yetu asante Mungu kwa kukufanya sisi wa pekee katika ufalme wako na kushukuru Mungu pia kwa 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 sisi wa Kristo Mungu asante kwa Yesu kuja duniani na kufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu na umetufanya sisi wa Kristo kuwa ni watu wenye umoja nchi mbalimbali bado tunamuhudumu Mungu mmoja na Mungu umetufanya sisi kuwa ni watu wenye wa kuombeana asante pia kwa wakati wa Bwana na kuomba na naomba kwa lugha ya Kiswahili Mungu na najua Mungu zinasikia na hata kama waelewi lakini Mungu hupenda kutenda mambo ambayo nitakaoenda kuomba. Mungu nenda kuweka, nenda kuweka hii podcast ni mikononi mwako Mungu neno naomba ukapate kumtia nguvu Mary, ukapate kum, <coughs> kumpa ufunuo, ukapate kumpa nguvu ya ku, ya, ku, ya kufanya kazi zake za kila siku. Mungu apate kumbariki za mikono yake, apate kumfungua milango ya kifedha katika maisha yake, apate kufungua milango ya ya ya, ya, ya ya ya, ya mambo ambayo anahitaji katika maisha yake Mungu apate kumtokea. Najua amejitoa sana kuhudumia sisi bali Mungu naomba ukabariki pia ukapokuwa kazi ya mikono yake ukapokuwa kazi anayefanya kukutumikia ukapata kukubariki. Mungu pia anaenda kujiweka mimi mwenyewe na Wakristo wengine mikononi mwako. Najua sisi tuna mahitaji mbalimbali, tuna 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 shida mbalimbali, tuna magonjwa, tuna mahitaji ya shuleni, tuna mahitaji ya nyumbani na watoto. Na Mungu akapate kushuhulika na mahitaji yetu najua wengine ambao hata wasikia maombi Mungu wana mahitaji yao Mungu apate kushughulika na mahitaji yetu kila mmoja wetu yetu kutokana na, na shida tulizo nazo katika china la Yesu Kristo naomba Mungu apate kutupa umoja apate kutupa amani apate kutupa upendo apate kutupa hekima yako kila siku Mungu kwa sababu Biblia imesema Mungu ndani yako Roho Mtakatifu kuna yote Roho Mtakatifu ni, ni, ni msaidizi wetu Roho Mtakatifu ni kiongozi wetu basi Roho Mtakatifu wote kuongoza katika dunia hii ambayo dunia imejaa mchanganyiko mbalimbali imejaa mambo ya imejaa giza imejaa mambo ya kishetani Mungu apate kutuongoza tuishi katika katika njia yako apate kutuongoza tusome neno lako na kuelewa na kuomba kutokana na maandiko kuomba kupitia maandiko yako sababu Mungu anasikia maombi yetu asante Mungu kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu wa upendo na kushukuru na kutukuza na kubariki kwa sababu wewe Mungu umekuwa ni Mungu wangu umekuwa baraka katika maisha yangu wazee nikiwa mtoto mpaka sasa hivi na umekuwa baraka katika watu wengine wengi naomba Mungu apate kufungua milango yako naomba ukapate kuleta mwamko ndani ya Wakristo wapate wapate kuwa na shauku ya kutafuta wewe zaidi katika china la Yesu Kristo naomba na kushukuru and i'm praying oh god that you may you may just 
you may just lead us oh god into 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 your way the way that, that we should go oh god that you may just bless us oh god that you may just lead us oh god into our into into what your god you want us to do oh god and we we know we, we have different needs oh god i pray that oh god you may you may provide into our needs oh god you may provide and you may bless us oh god according to your glorious riches oh god i pray all this in the mighty name of jesus amen